choice of entity, taxation of startup losses, problem three. Potato and Yam organized a new business as a corporation in which they own equal interests. The new business generated a $65,000 operating loss for the year. Assume the corporation expects to generate $500,000 of income next year and has a 21% tax rate. Calculate the net present value of future tax savings associated with the current year operating loss using a 4% discount rate. Assume that the corporation makes an election under subchapter S to be treated as a pass-through entity. If Potato's marginal tax rate is 35% and Yam's marginal tax rate is 37%, calculate the tax savings associated with the current year operating loss. Assume the basis and excess business loss limitations do not apply. All right, so we've got two different variations here that we need to address. We've got the first set variation. We'll call that variation one. Let's go ahead and label that variation one. That's the top question. And we've got variation two. Now, it's important to understand the facts at the top there are really short. Just two individuals, they organize a corporation. Now, one thing when you're reading this, you're like, well, it just says corporation. It doesn't say S corporation. It doesn't say C corporation. Remember that in my videos, if you're not told what kind of corporation it is for tax purposes, it is a C corporation. So that is the default, is that's a C corporation. And the reason why is because that's the way the tax law works. If you're a corporation for tax purposes and you qualify, you can elect to be an S corporation. But if you don't make the S election, then guess what? You are a C corporation. And notice that in the second variation, it says at the beginning, assume that the corporation makes the election to be treated under subchapter S, S corporation, as a pass-through entity. So it's basically saying, okay, now it's an S corporation, okay? So we got $65,000 operating loss. And what you're going to end up seeing from the two different variations is basically in the first variation, we're going to be a C corporation, and what's the effect of this loss, given some information. And then the second situation, we're going to be an S corporation, and we're going to see the, the value of the loss looking also at present valuing. And the reason why we have to do present valuing is because for a C corporation, remember that for a C corporation, the default rule is that if there is a loss, right, we have a $65,000 loss this year in year one, we'll call that year one, in year one. And that's what we're asking about is what is the present value of the benefit of that, of that loss, okay, of that loss. And this is in year one. That's what we're asked about. Well, we're told $65,000 operating loss. The way the C corporation rules work is that if there's no income to offset, that that loss is either going to carry back or carry forward, okay? Um, the default is, it depends on the year, but for purpose of this problem, we're going to carry it forward. And unless you're told otherwise, you carry that loss forward, okay? Unless it's, it says something else in the facts. We carry that loss basically to year two. And it's telling us in this additional fact, it says, assume the corporation expects to generate $500,000 of income next year. So that's year two. That's year two. So the idea is that we're going to have enough income to use the loss. And there's a 21% tax rate this corporation is subject to. We need that as well. And we need to calculate the net present value of the future tax savings associated with the current year operating loss. So the year one loss of $65,000. What is that? that present value using a 4% discount rate. So what we do is we take the $65,000 loss, okay, which is going to get the benefit in year two. We can present value that today. We first need to, it's, since we're asking for the tax, the, the tax savings, that is the tax benefit. Ultimately, dollar for dollar, what do you get? What, how much are you getting? Because reducing by 65,000 is like reducing taxable income by 65,000. Well, the tax rate, we have to multiply that by. So we take the $65,000 loss, we multiply it by 21%. So we multiply it by 21%. And that's going to give us $13,650. So if we had income to offset in year one, that would be what it's worth in year one. But we don't. We're going to have to bring it over to carry it over to year two. If we're looking at year one, what the value of the net present value of that in year one dollars, as you know, time value of money. A dollar of tax savings today is worth more than a dollar of tax savings a year from now. And that means that that dollar is going to be worth less. Think about opportunity costs, all those issues in time value money. So we have to present value this for one year. So the way we do it is in the numerator, we're going to have $13,650. That's going to be the, the amount. Okay. And by the way, I know this is negative. We can do negative again. Okay. Negative because of the loss. So 13650 And what we do is we take one 
plus the discount rate, which is 4%. So 1 plus 0 0.04. So that's 1.04. So that equals 1.04. So if you take $13,650 divided by 1.04, you're going to get, you're going to get 13000 one hundred and twenty five dollars and that is the tax savings I have a negative there and that's because it's a savings it reduces your tax owed by thirteen thousand one hundred twenty five dollars so that is the first part of the question that's what would happen if it's a C corporation again go back review your rules if you need to for C corporations C corporations the loss stays in the entity you can't just you can't just um, bring it out to the owners okay so now what we need to do now in, in, the, in the second variation, we are gonna say, we're going to assume that's now an S corporation. They made the S election. It's now a pass-through entity. So basically, we've got, we've got this entity. We've got this partnership, and it's owned by two individuals. It's owned by Potato and Yam. So we do a triangle for a pass-through entity, and like we have here. And well, actually, I'm sorry. We do a triangle for a partnership. Let me erase that. And for a S corporation, we do kind of like a, a little weird shape. It's actually, it looks like a, uh, so square is what we use for, I'm sorry, rectangle is what we use for a C corporation. So for a um, S corporation, what we do is we use a, a bottom like that, that has like a triangle and then part the way the top is flat. So that's our S corporation here. This is our S corporation. And the question here is, okay, if potatoes marginal tax rate is 35% and yams marginal tax rate is 37%, calculate the tax savings associated with the current year operating loss, which is the $65,000. Okay. Assume the basis and excess loss limitations do not apply, so we don't need to worry about that. Now, the idea with a pass-through entity like a partnership, S corporation, sole proprietorship, is that you can bring that loss, that $65,000, down to the owners. So these are both 50% owners or equal owners as the problem says. They own equal interests, 50%, 50%. So that means that we're going to take this $65,000 and we're going to split it between the two. And that means that Potato gets a $32,500 loss. Again, because the, the, the basis and excess loss limitations and other loss limitations are told like – like code section 465 at risk rule and 469 passive activity loss rules do not apply to potato or yam in this problem. So they both get a $32,500 loss that they get to use against their own income. Okay. The loss limitations, there are none there. They can use it. We're not done because we need to know the tax savings associated. So we get to use this in year one. With the, with the C corporation, we had to use it in year two. And again, that's what we had to do the present value. This is in year one. So the present value is dollar for dollar because it's the, the same year. So now what we're gonna do is we take that 32,500 for both people. So it's, it's both 32,500 for both. Again, both negative. And we're gonna multiply it by the respective tax rates because obviously it's going to have different value at different rates. So we're told potato has a 35% bracket rate, marginal rate, and we're told yam is a 37% rate. So go ahead, calculate that. For potato, you get a 11,375, and this is actually in dollars. So this is the actual benefit. And for yam, you're going to get 12,000 $25. And the question is asking for what is the calculate the tax savings associated with the current year operating loss. And you have to do both of those individual, you have to do both of them together. Okay. So we basically, what I'm saying is you do them separately and it's asking for the total number. So if we add those two numbers together, we're going to get $23,400 total is the value of this loss to the owners because they can pass it through. So 23,400, I have it in brackets only because again, it's a negative number in the sense that you are getting savings. Okay. If you're doing my homeworks or whatnot, just look at the way the question is. It might be a positive because it's asking for tax savings. This would be a positive 23,400 in savings. Okay. And this would be a positive 13,125, but I'm keeping it a negative because remember a loss is a negative. So th these are positives. If you're asked about the savings, the positive, it's a, it's the positive number, the, the absolute value, right? The positive number. If you're asked about the savings. 
Okay, so that's really everything. You see the difference here between a C corporation and S corporation. As you can see, for an S corp, I'm sorry, yeah, for the S corporation pass through, it's worth a lot more to be to be a, a pass through entity and get the value of that to your owners. The one thing though is that remember the loss limitations did not apply here, and if they do apply, that creates a big a big issue. Okay, that creates a big issue because the loss limits can be very um, tough at times. Here we didn't have any of those. Um, a lot of times you, you are subject to the loss limitations, making you carry it forward, time value money, those kinds of issues.